Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just deported major celebrity who had it coming. Nobody is above the law. During Barack Obama's presidency, he did all he could to destroy this nation, and he got pretty darn close to it. Obama not only pushed back race relations decades with his manufactured race war, but he also allowed floods of illegals to pour into our country unvetted and unchecked so they could vote for Democrats in upcoming elections. After years of witnessing this disgusting disregard for our nation's laws, President Trump is in charge and working hard to fix the mess Obama allowed. President Trump has been busy overturning Obama-era programs that benefited everyone else in the world, but the American people. Over this past summer, on the chopping block was the Obama-era CIA program that helped arm rebels who were fighting the Syrian government. Then there was the Paris Climate Accord and NAFTA that only protected foreign interests over America, and Trump has just been in office for less than a year. However, the most significant cut of the year was Obama's hotly contested Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DSEA, that caused the left to disintegrate into hysterics. So much so that these Democrats have shut the government down until Trump grants these dreamers amnesty. Not to be deterred by the shameless blackmail from the left Trump is pressing on and is now deporting celebrities with an illegal immigrant status sending a clear message that he is not one to trifle with, and all we can say is hell yeah. Over the last several years, the left has flipped the illegal immigration argument on its head by making those that cross the border victims instead of criminals. They have brainwashed an entire generation efficiently into believing that these illegals have every right to be here and the American taxpayer needs to open their wallet to pay for them. There have been marches in the streets, violent protests, and now a government shutdown to keep these criminals here but that has not stopped Trump from making sure those that are here illegally go back to where they came from, and it is about time. Two illegals that have been able to gain notoriety for their liberal activism have been detained and are now being deported by the Trump administration after being passed over for years by ICE agents under the Obama administration. Here is more from Conservative Tribune. Ravid Athragbar and Jean Mountreville, both prominent figures within the pro-illegal immigration group New Sanctuary Coalition of New York City, were detained and deported by Immigration and Customs Enforcement after years of being allowed to stay in the country at the discretion of federal officials, in spite of the fact that both had been convicted of serious crimes. According to the New York Daily News, Ragbar was detained by ICE on January 11 and informed that his reprieve from deportation would not be extended further. Ragbar, executive director of New Sanctuary, was checking in at the ICE office in New York City when he was detained. While Ragbar had immigrated to the United States legally back in 1991 from Trinidad and Tobago, he was convicted of wire fraud in 2000, according to the New York Times. Ragbar received a deportation order in 2006, but in 2011 ICE officials in New York City gave him a reprieve of deportation. That reprieve was extended last April, but ICE officials informed Ragbar that reprieve would not be extended further. A judge will now decide his fate. One week later, Haitian national Jean Mountreville, a co-founder of New Sanctuary, was deported after being taken into custody in early January. Montreville, who had entered the United States in 1986, had served time on a drug possession charge and was in the process of appealing a deportation order. According to The Intercept, Montreville's lawyer said his client believed that he had reached an understanding with ICE officials. The general consensus among members of the activist community was that these arrests were targeted acts. Well, of course, they feel that the acts were targeted but that could not be further from the truth. In fact, these two activists were breaking the law by living in the country illegally and had been passed over numerous times for deportation in the past. This was not a vendetta against them but rather a president finally enforcing our immigration laws that have been ignored for almost a decade and more. However, there is more to the story as there always is when you are dealing with lying leftists. These two illegals are not as lily-white as they are trying to paint them. Mr. Montreville and Mr. Ragbar brought are both criminals who have served time in prison so under our laws they get a free pass back to their home country. According to the New York Times, Montreville served five years in prison when he was sentenced to 11 for drug possession, and Ragbar spent time in the pokey for embezzling $400,000. Both of these men committed crimes and served prison sentences which should have had them deported in the beginning, but they were lucky and flew under the radar. Now, their luck has run out, and they are heading back to where they came from and if their families are upset, that is on them. These two men had every opportunity to become legal citizens, but they chose not to, and now they have to face the consequences of their actions despite their celebrity status. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.